questions for Jamal, NASCAR Junior, sorry. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get Lynn's theme. Anybody figure out how to start Lynn's recorder? Yeah, turn to start Lynn's recorder. Let's attempt it. Jamal, um, look, I want to start at the end. Um, what'd you see on their last shot that went in, and what'd you see afterwards? Um, I just thought we kind of helped when we sh probably shouldn't have. Um, I had him one-on-one, -on -one and House kind of helped off his man, which caused the guy to get a cut, and he made a crazy shot. Um, you know, a nice layup, nice play. Uh, you know, they play hard. It's hard to beat a team twice. So, uh, you know, they came in. We knew they were going to compete and, um, you know, bring 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 something to us. But uh, we just got, uh, just got a little bit too over help in the end. So. Did you, I mean, I got to ask, after the, after they hit that shot, celebration is one thing, stomping on the logo in the middle of the court. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on what they were doing with that? It's going to happen. I mean, we did it to them when, when, when we won, so. We expect them to do the same when when they won, and you know they earned this win, and we gotta go back to the drawing board and get better. So, did, did you see them spitting on the logo too? I saw everything. What's that do for the rivalry next year? Um, I mean, we um, I mean, we obviously know this has been a historic rivalry for you know forever. So, um, we're gonna take it, you know, more seriously. I mean, I know we 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 came and competed today. We did a lot of good things, but uh, so at the end, we gotta just execute better. Um, but now we're, we're, we're fired up. We got some good things going on, and we're going to go back to the gym and work. How did they get away from you at the end? Say again? How did the game get away? Um, I had a player one-on-one, -on -one and I was good, and somebody helped off, and which caused the guy to cut back cut and, you know, just get in a scramble situation, and he ended up making a good play. So. Well, how tough was it uh, battling those bodies? All night inside, they were really physical, mm -hmm. had bigger guys. Yeah. Um, that had to have a wearing down factor mm -hmm. a little bit. I mean, we um we know we were probably a little bit undersized going into this. Uh, they crashed the glass a lot. You know, that's that's their main offense, getting the post, Barkley, um, you know, do whatever they can to out-physical us. But, I mean, I think we did a pretty decent job on the glass. You know, we we're, we're keep making strides in that department. And, um, you know, I'm happy with that. You know, obviously, I wish the result would have been a little bit different. But, um, you know, we live with the results, and every loss is a lesson. So, we just keep going for it. That crowd pick you up? Of, oh, yeah, for what sure. Man, they, they, and this New Mexico crowd is special. Um, you know, these Lobo fans, man, I go out there and play hard for them every single time. You know, they, 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 they give me so much energy. You know, I hear it, I feel it, and I think it feeds through our team. So, um, you know, it's great. It's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk, just talk about that last shot. I know you got probably a better look than we did. I mean, it wasn't a good look, man. It was just kind of one of those ones that just kind of fell in, huh? Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a tough shot. I mean, he, he had to spin in the air, kind of, you know, contort his body, and you know, he ended up trying making a game-winning play. So I mean, it just it just ended up falling. Um, you know, if, if if we didn't, um, you know, you can't blame one person. It's all of us. So, uh, you know, we just got to do a better job of uh, just not not helping too much and just, you know, executing down the stretch. I know, um, obviously, loss like this hurts. Talk about the response, and do you think this team has the wherewithal to you know come back from this and really, you know? I mean, I think uh, with this game, I think we're going to get a lot better from it. You know, I, you know, everybody sees the the final score and you know just didn't think like, oh, we didn't do too well or you know what I'm saying we lost on the last second shot. But like, you know, regardless of the result, we did a lot of good things, and I think you know we got a good group of guys that want to work and get better. So we're going to go back in the gym tomorrow and correct the things that we need to correct. Well, coach yeah. emphasized putting last week's game behind you guys and really just focusing on on a rematch. What was different about the the pace and the flow tonight? Um, it was just. It was a lot more, um, they knew what we were trying to run and we knew what they were trying to run. So it was just mainly just, you know, one, you know, head to head, you know, who's, who's better, who's going to play harder, who's going to get a loose ball, who's going to get those 50 50s. So, um, that's basically what it came down to. And, and at the end of the game, that's what, that's what won them the game. So Did you feel like it was just like a, a, a slug fest out there. You guys were taking shots. They were taking shots right back mm -hmm. at you. Absolutely. Talk about, you know, going back and forth and trying to, mm -hmm. you know, match them at point for point. Yeah. I mean, we knew um, that they were going to come in. They were going to go on a run and, um, you know, the game, um, the lead changed probably about you know a handful of times, um, you know, like especially down the stretch in the second half. So um, we knew it was going to be a competitive, competitive fight. They got great offensive players. You know, Teddy Allen had 20. So I mean, he I know him from Nebraska. So he's he's a good offensive player. So you know, it's just it's just that. So yeah. Talk about your performance. You had some pretty good shots there too. Talk about uh, what you were feeling and, and how you feel after the game. Yeah, I mean, I was just doing everything to try and win the game. 
Um, I mean, just try to keep. I'm 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 supposed to be in attack mode, you know, 100 percent of the time, whether that be to score or to get my teammates involved. So that's what I was just trying to do, and um, you know, I was able to do a little bit of that, but I gotta get a lot better because we didn't get the win. So yeah, I'm curious of the second half. Um, I think they're up four. Teddy Fowles, you mm. was talking to the free throw line. Mm. He kept doing this team. We scored the next six. I think eight of the next ten. Mm. Um, what was what was the conversation with you and Teddy there? Um, well, I mean, you know, when two good offensive players, you know, are on the court, you know, that he's he's going he's going to want to, you know, you know, kind of show what he got and kind of talk what he he needs to talk about, and um, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So, um, and I also knew him from Nebraska. You know, what I'm saying we played him, so um, I knew he was gonna come in and try to jack up some shots, and he did, and he did a very good job at that. So, you know, I see greatness in your team. I see a lot of greatness in our team, a lot of greatness. We just gotta keep honing on into it and keep working. Specifically, what do you see? I see a group of young guys that want to win, that are trying to learn how to win um, as a group, um, whether that be gang rebounding or just just how to communicate to each other. You know, we're still learning. This is all a new group, you know, for us. So, you know, we never played with each other, you know, past this year. So, you know, just you know, I see a lot of guys who want to get better and they're going there individually, work on their game, watch film, um, ask coach a lot of questions. So, you know, I'm excited about this group. This group's going to continue to grow together. So. Mm. Good. Right, good. Thanks, Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. KJ, have one up. Good job, man. Yeah. Oh. Still going. KJ had seven points, also had uh, two rebounds. Uh, was three of three for the field and hit a free pointer. Questions for KJ? KJ, it started with Jamal the same way, but at the very end, I want to know what you saw with that final shot and then what you saw afterwards and just your reflection or thoughts on maybe the post games. You know, uh, when it comes down to the, uh, the end of the game, you know, with time running off, uh, you know, you just gonna you just gotta wait to see what happens, you know. And we didn't uh, stay disciplined on that, you know. Uh, I think we could have done a lot better job, you know. I think, uh, man, I don't even know. It's just tough. It's just tough the way the shot went in. Yeah. Did you, so you saw it go in. You were able to see kind of from behind. And it's just tough. Um, afterwards, obviously, this is rivalry. Passions are heated. That game was heated. Um, they're stomping on the logo. They're spitting on the logo. Right. Kenny Nunez, the athletic director, actually goes out there. And kind of gets them off the logo. Your thoughts on what they did afterwards in their celebration? You know, that's a, a real big sign of, you know, I mean, for us, you know, we, we can handle it the best way possible. You know, I think we did a great job of, you know, not, you know, not reacting. Uh, their coach obviously got them off the court. Um, but it's, it's obviously, you know, just a big win for them. And, you know, they played a great game, but uh, hats off to them. What would have made the outcome different? Uh. You know, we did some great things, just discipline at the end of the at the end of the uh, at the end of the game. Obviously you know how big this rivalry is, but seeing how much the fans were into it too, just talk about that experience. Yeah, I mean this is uh this is something that nobody's uh seen in a long time, you know, and for the fans to come out and support us, you know, that's nothing but love and uh man, I, I know the fans are gonna stay with us. You know, it's a tough loss, but you know, we're gonna get back to work and Fans were definitely with us. The outcome wasn't what you wanted, but you know it was, it was a pretty fun atmosphere going back and forth. The crowd was in it. Talk about the game. You can remember this game as, as a, a, I mean, a tough loss for sure. But was it fun of being course. in the atmosphere? Of course, I'm always remember this game, the atmosphere that they brought. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, keep building this, and the fans. I mean, that's not going to go away. I believe uh, we can get them back here, uh, keep this thing rolling, and uh, just get back to work. How's your ankle? Uh, it's, it's better. It's better. 100%? <laughs> I'm going to go out there and give 100%, whatever my ankle is with. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, Obviously, a, a great game. Very appreciative uh, of our fans to come out and certainly bring the pit alive, uh, like we've all talked about. Uh, disappointed that we didn't come away with the win. 
But I think there's a lot of things we can learn from. It's very, very hard to beat a team twice. It's hard to beat an old team like that. Um, we had a couple of miscues down the stretch that obviously they just made us pay. Uh, so, you know, we won't get too emotional with it. Uh, we're, we're certainly disappointed um, that we weren't able to protect home court. Um, but we will, we will learn from it and grow. It's a young team who's got great potential. I think we all see it, but we're not even close to where we need to be. So would you change that coach as a outstanding college basketball game? If we won, I would have said it's outstanding. Um, but it was a great game. And, it, you know, they got their money's worth. Um, we made plays. They made plays. They just made one more play than we did. I asked both your players the same thing. You, What you saw on that last shot, did you guys defend it well? What you saw on the Clearly did not defend it well. Um, total miscue, uh, an un unnecessary uh, breakdown. We didn't need to provide help. I thought MASH was good. It is what it is. We'll learn from it. But then they were stomping on the court. They were spitting on the logo. Eddie Nunez goes out there, helps usher them off the logo. Um, did you see any of that? What were your thoughts on the celebration afterwards? You know, I, I'm more offended by our defense on the last play. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about other people's team. Uh, what I know is we had a couple breakdowns down the stretch that cost us an opportunity to sweep New Mexico State. We didn't do it. So I'm not going to coach their team. Um, I'm going to pour all my energy into getting our guys better. Speaking of not coaching their team, coaching your you've got to be happy with the discipline your guys showed not to get egged on into anything there at the end. It's a rivalry game. Uh, I, I think both coaching staffs did a good job and administrators of just somewhat de-escalating it. Um, but that's the beauty of a rivalry. You know, I mean, we got them at their place, they got us at our place. So, you know, I, I, one thing about me, I don't get too emotional. You know, I'm, I'm going to control what I can control. And I'm going to watch the film and I'm going to coach my butt off to these guys and focus on that and, and, and not worry about anything else. You mentioned the positives from this game. Can you just further talk on that? Because, I mean, during the first half, you guys were really flowing, looking good. Can you just kind of speak on that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, obviously, Jamal Mashburn, I mean, terrific. Um, just did some unbelievable things. Um, had played with incredible will and heart. Um, you know, we left nine points at the foul line. We've been pretty good this um, year at the foul line. I thought we were physically tough. Um, they're they're bigger than we are, you know. They're they're, they're older than we are. Um, our bodies, we know, we got to live in the weight room certainly uh, during the year and in the off season. But they made one more play than we did. That's the bottom line. So, uh, as I said before, not going to get too emotional about it. Um, it's just one game. We've got a whole month here in the pit. Very appreciative of our amazing fans. It's one of the best crowds I've ever seen uh, for a college basketball game, especially in December. Coach, was their defense taking away anything you guys wanted to do over the course of it? Just you know, a lot of a lot of jumpers, a lot of three pointers in there. And you talked about you know being more aggressive and, and going to the basket. Were they taking anything away from you guys? You know, I uh, the offense. We scored 76 points, and we left nine points at the foul line. You're not going to make all the foul lines, but you could have potentially gotten 80 points. I don't think the offense is the problem. I think that, you know, they're a good defensive team, and they're long. Um, they isolated us in the post a couple times, and that hurt us, clearly hurt us. Uh, so we just got to work on it. Jamal tied the game with 18 seconds left, and the very first thing he did was gesture to his team to stay calm. Uh, what would you say about moments like that and his leadership when it comes to the team and just keeping them grounded? He's, he's so disciplined. He's so focused. It, there's never any nonsense with him. Uh, every single day when it's time to stretch, he stretches because he knows it's important. When it's time to work on his jumper, he knows it's important. Uh, he's all business, and he is going to continue to grow into, the, into one of the better guards, if not the best guard in the Mountain West. I truly believe it. 42 for them. Um, was he – obviously he's on your scouting report, but – did you foresee a guy coming off the bench and scoring 19? He's the big guy down there. They just kept going on him, and we, we couldn't stop him. Um, you know, we're, we we got to do a better job there. Uh, but, you know, he was he was terrific off the bench. And uh, we didn't have an answer defensively for him in the post. How did the game get away from you early on? Well, we were up 9 or 10 early. So, I don't think he got away from us. I thought we had a, we had a chance to win it um, regulation, um, you know, House got a somewhat decent look. Three seconds on the clock. I thought KJ might have been open on the pitch back. Um, 
they just wait. They made one more play than we did. I don't, I don't think it got away from us necessarily. I just think they, they made one more. Give them credit. You talk about one of you, you know, this is a teachable lesson, getting your team better. How big mm-hmm. is the response going to be? How big is a, a good response after this game for you guys? Everything's about responding. Good, bad, whatever, doesn't matter. You always got to respond. Um, it's a young team that's going to grow and grow and grow and get better. It's great that we're home for a while so we can get some great practices in. Um, but everything is about the response. And, and you know, we got to take tomorrow off, but then we're right back on a practice court, and that's the word we're going to use is respond and learn from everything and grow. I think that crowd will come back for you over and over. What do you think? I hope you're right. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I, it's, it's as I said before, we're not a perfect team. Uh, we, we didn't inherit a lot. We had to kind of build a roster through COVID, and I like these guys, but it's going to be a process. And we've had some good moments, we've had some bad moments. Um, but I tell you what, if that crowd continues to be like that, we're not going to lose a lot at home. So greatly appreciative. Um, one of the better environments I've, I've seen in a long time. Your introduction to the in-house rivalry, you had the arguably the two most epic games. Um, you know, you had the blackout in this one, the reverse, no look, buzzer beater. How does it feel to your introduction to the real Grand rivalry? Not good right now. Felt good the other day. You know, I mean, it is what it is. We had a breakdown. Uh, he made a, I don't know if I was looking at the basket, but he made a tough shot. And you know what? They, they made the right play. We put two on the ball for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, but he made a play. So it's a great rivalry. Um, it's great for both fan bases. You know, I mean, it's, it's tough to play there. It's going to be tough to play here. Um, I got a lot of respect, you know, for their coach and what they do. Uh, so, you know, we'll see him again next year. But, you know, we've got uh, – we got to learn from it, keep moving forward. Obviously, Thank you, Coach. Oh, okay. Go ahead, last one. Let's go. Uh, just having your dad in-house, too. How cool is that? Obviously, he didn't get the win, but having him here and experiencing the foot, too. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, it's cool to see. He's had a lot of good moments in here. Last time he was in here, he won a game to go to the Final Four. Uh, I have told him over and over and over again, every day that passes, I like it more and more here. And I truly believe that. Um, it is a special community. And when you have people that care as much as they do, great things are going to happen. So we're not there yet, uh, but we will bring it back. And with the support of these fans, it will happen sooner than later.